Shove it, man! <laughs> Alright, it's the Hawk. In honour of her recent arrest, it's time for Liv Morgan to have a shot at Ring of the Hawk Season 4. This is the show where we watch back a wrestler's short run with a company, and at the end we shove them a final grade to see if they can do the J.O.B. to the H.A.W.K. This is going to be Liv Morgan's NXT run where the matches began in 2015. Let me know at the end of the video what grade you think she deserved, and if you don't, you're a nerd. Match 1, Eva Marie who makes the men agree versus a jobber called Marley who happily appears in the ring looking 5 years old. Marie arm drags her and hits her with her haircut. That fires up our girl who does a Matrix-like move into a sit-out hip toss for a two. Even in her first match, the crowd are chanting for her. Wasn't expecting that for a jobber. Marie suplexes her and goes back to working on her arm. After a while, Marley throws an integuri and a few drop kicks and a sort of monkey flip DDT thing. I have no idea what it was meant to be. She can't keep it going and runs into a really bad looking kick which causes the crowd to chant, what was that? Eva Marie wins with a flatliner. To be fair, for a two minute match, this wasn't that bad. And she got the crowd cheering for her and got a number of two counts, the debut as a C. Match two, Emma the Alsatian versus Liv Morgan who dances her way to the ring. It's a New Jersey gimmick. Emma smashes her into the corner a few times then randomly puts her in a tarantula. This match is very slow. Emma starts working on her haircut, a very one-sided matchup. Out of nowhere, Morgan does that monkey flip move again and starts throwing drop kicks. The jackknife cover doesn't work as Emma bridges out of it. She frames Liv with a butterfly suplex and Emma wins with a curb stomp and a deathlock. There's not a pound of fat on this Alsatian. Didn't enjoy this one, it was slow and boring. Morgan didn't redo a thing, it's an S. Match 3, Battle Royal. For ages nothing happens and I drifted off. I woke up to see Morgan try to powerbomb Cameron but they both sort of fell to the ground, it looked horrible. They repeat the spot again and she almost drops her again. This is all done so Alexa Bliss can eliminate them both. It's over. It's an S. She had one job and it was messed up. Match 4. Nia Jax with Eva Marie versus Liv Morgan. Morgan desperately tries a sunset flip but isn't strong enough. Jax picks her up and spins her through the air by her haircut. The size difference here is immense. Morgan does manage to throw two drop kicks to no effect. She's not strong enough to do a monkey flip move and she's powered up and powered back down with a side slam. A leg drop ends it for Nia Jax. Literally nothing to see here, it's an S. Match 5, Bailey vs Liv Morgan. This New Jersey gimmick sucks, I'm surprised they didn't team her up with Kaz and Enzo who are actually on the show at this time. Morgan can't land a move and she's sent over and gets an elbow to the back of the head. Morgan shows now that she has a brand new move as she handsprings off the ropes into a sort of head scissors. Liv nails a bulldog and kips up. Now a monkey flip out the corner. She can't hit her next move and there's the Bailey to belly for the free. Well, there was some new stuff here and she actually got to do some moves finally. It's a C. Match 6. Oh no, not again. It's Nia Jax taking on Liv Morgan. Jax brutally throws her face first into the mat. This one might not last long. Morgan tries to fight back with punches but is kneed in the gut. The crowd are in silence so you can hear people groaning and shouting boring. Morgan wakes them up with a bit of a head scissors. She throws a couple of drop kicks before Jax chases after her and crushes her. One powerbomb ends it for Nia Jax. What's the point of being this huge monster if you can't actually do anything? It's a D because Morgan made things look painful, and I ain't talking about the match quality. Match 7, Billy Kay who makes the boys spray versus Liv Morgan. Her popularity does seem to be growing. Billy monkey flips Liv, this causes Liv to show off her athletics. The athletics doesn't help when she gets dropped on her face in the corner and elbowed in the face. Billy calls her Little Brat. A suplex gets Billy a one count. Probably the most moves in a row we've seen from Morgan now. A jawbreaker, a running bulldog and a dodgy looking monkey flip. Morgan misses a kick and Billy has a kick of her own which is enough to beat Liv. Poor Liv, is she ever going to win a match on this run? Is this going to be another Mean Street posse? This one's a D. Match 8, 6 women's tag. Liv Morgan, Nikki Glencross and Carmella take on Daria Benito, Mandy Rose and Alexa Bliss. Daria climbs in the ring on her own and punches at her opponents. It looks so funny. Morgan battles the MMA fighter. Bliss tries to take a cheap shot from the outside, which Morgan impressively avoids, but turns around into a smack. Bliss gets the tag and stands on her and tramples her. Mandy Rose is in with a snap mirror and a kick. Morgan almost gets rolled up. Mandy Rose smashes her partners off the apron and kills Lee with a big knee to the jaw. The MMA fighter joins the match with knees to the gut and a big knee to the head. Liv ends up in a submission for ages, but she refuses to tap. Bliss rejoins the match and quickly Liv hits an integuri and the tag to Carmella is made. The match breaks down and Carmella wins with a leg scissors. 
Alright, live on the winning side finally for the first time. She didn't really do that much, but whenever she had a little burst of energy, the crowd came alive. It's a D. Match 9, NXT main event, Liv Morgan vs Aaliyah. Nice cat ears. Nothing really happens until her head is out of the corner. Liv dropped toe holds her for a two count. Nothing's really happening, the crowd sound restless. Aaliyah rolls into a leg scissors. That should probably be the end, but it isn't. Liv fights out the submission. She does the bulldog and the kip up to fire herself up. She creams Aaliyah with a wacky spin kick and gets the free. Guess that's her finisher then. At least she finally won. I was getting worried. Match still sucked. It's a D. Match 10. Liv Morgan versus Rachel Ellering. Liv starts with a quick pin and then she rolls Rachel all over the ring into another pin. Liv does a matrix move now into a hip toss with happiness. Liv snap mirrors her out the corner to connect with a running drop kick. The monkey flip leads to a front chancery submission and that's the tap out win. A nothing match. It's an S. Wait, she actually cuts an in-ring promo after the match about wanting to fight without offending anyone? She challenges Oscar to a match. The crowd reacted well to the promo, so it's a D, I guess. Match 11, Liv Morgan vs. Oscar. It goes about as well as you would expect. Oscar no-sells her offense, drops her on her face, and makes her tap out in one minute. Liv looked very dumb for thinking she could beat her. It's an S. Match 12, Billy Kay with Peyton Royce vs. Liv Morgan. Apparently Morgan is looking for friends, but nobody likes her because she's from New Jersey. Morgan starts a small package for a two. Billy J fights back with a fireman's takeover. Liv drop toe holds her in slow motion into a slow motion backslide. Jay gets annoyed and gives her a rough looking backbreaker for a two. She picks Liv up again with a torture rack variation. She can't make her tap, so she throws her into the corner. Out of nowhere, Liv Morgan pulls off an STO, which shocked everybody. Peyton Royce trips up Liv just when she's mounting a comeback. Billy Kay then wins with the big boot. It's clear that Liv is learning stuff, she just isn't getting many chances to show it off. Unfortunately, it's just another D. Match 13, Liv Morgan. You have to hand it to Liv, she's quite good at marketing herself. Versus Peyton Royce, who gives the boys a choice. Wow, what the hell, this one starts with some fire. Liv clearly loses that exchange though. Royce gets her tied up on the ropes and has her own tarantula variation. That seems to wake Liv up and she leaps over and then almost rolls up Peyton. Couple of big clotheslines and that fires up Liv and the crowd wake up to cheer for her. Liv connects with the Bulldog straight into an STO. There's the roll through into the submission but before Peyton can tap, Billy J rushes the ring and the match is thrown out. Aaliyah saves Liv so I guess Liv has found a friend. Ember Moon also makes the save. Funny commentary line in this match where they say in New Jersey you don't need a photo for your driving license, they just use your first mugshot. Well in that case, Liv's driving license is hot. Best match so far due to the fire she showed, it's a C. Match 14, NXT main event, six women's tag. Liv Morgan, Aaliyah and Ember Moon versus Peyton Royce, Billy Kay and Dario Berenato. Billy Kay starts with Liv Morgan. Liv does the handspring into the head scissors, nice start. Liv then matrixes away from the next attack and throws some drop kicks. She takes out Peyton and Billy with a double bulldog and tags Aaliyah. It's good to see that Liv doesn't seem to be the weakest person in the matches anymore. The match breaks down with Liv hitting an STO on Dario before catching yet another big boot from Billy. Ember Moon beats Dario for diving cutter. In short bursts, Liv looks impressive, but we never get to see anything more. It's a D. Match 15, tag match. Liv Morgan and Aaliyah versus Peyton Royce and Billy Kay. Hopefully Morgan can avoid the big boot tonight. She can't avoid the fireman's takeover, but she manages to trip her and make some pinning attempts. The rolling pin from Liv goes on for ages and gets good reaction from this Japanese crowd. She tags Aaliyah and together they hit a double clothesline kip up. It doesn't go well for Aaliyah. It's clear that Liv Morgan is viewed as the better wrestler at this point. Unfortunately, this means she's isolated for ages. Liv desperately reaches for a tag like she's holding in a piss. She eventually gets to piss. I mean, <laughs> tag. It's a pretty hot tag too. She almost wins with an STO. The pin is saved at the last second. Peyton Royce makes a blind tag and rams Liv's head into Billy Kay's knee and that's the free. At least it wasn't a boot. Pretty decent. It's a C overall. Match 16, triple threat. Liv Morgan versus Billy Kay versus Ember Moon. Billy has been a heel and dumps in a thong with fear and hides on the outside. Ember and Liv will go at it. Liv runs into a hurricanrana but takes advantage of a distraction from Billy Kay to land a nice drop kick and a head scissors. Billy rushes the ring and Liv almost rolls her up. She keeps rolling with the rolling pin for another two. Now it's a double bulldog, Liv's doing well here. She keeps trying covers and keeps getting thrown on top of the other opponent, not seen that spot before. Liv with a slightly dodgy looking Fez press on Ember before the pin is broken up and she's thrown from the ring. She struggles to come back into the ring with both women determined to keep her out of the match. Eventually Liv does manage to get back in the ring, only to be thrown straight out of the ring onto Ember Moon. That one looked rough. Billy puts both girls in the ring but can't pin either one. 
Liv and Ember take her out of double chops, then Ember almost beats Liv a springboard clothesline. Ember looks to finish Billy off with a dive. Liv cuts her off and tries a suplex, but she can't do it. Billy gets underneath Liv and power bombs her away for a two count. When Billy turns around, Ember dives with the Eclipse for the three. Really nice match, definitely the best so far. It's a B from the Hawk. Match 17, Ember Moon versus Liv Morgan. So many kip ups in this run. It would have more effect if people did it less. Anyway, both girls fight around for a bit. They do a rolling small package spot, which Liv almost wins for two. This Ember Moon is built like an absolute tank. Nice head scissors for Liv Morgan for a two. Unfortunately, Ember Moon catches her with a knee in the corner and hits the Scott Hall special for a two. Ember locks on a cross face. Liv is very good at rolling around on the mat though as established and it almost costs Ember. Liv now has a flurry of offense. A bulldog into a kip up. Stop it. Liv locks on a guillotine but Ember refuses to go down and impressively she throws Liv out of the ring. On the apron now, Ember hits a sliding kick. She brings Liv back into the ring and hits the eclipse for the three. A fun but short match. It's a C. Calm it on the damn kip ups though. Match 18, Liv Morgan versus Billy Kay with Peyton Royce. Weird moment where Billy drops to the mat and both girls freeze for an awkward amount of time before Liv uses her back as a treadmill. Now we get the rolling pin from Liv for a two. Billy shuts her down for stun gun and the eat defeat which left Gail Kim dumping enough bomb. That's just a two. Morgan almost gets a lucky roll up before she's shut down. Billy suplexes her but nothing happens for a bit before Liv nails the head scissors. Peyton Royce tries to get involved so Liv sends them into each other and she rolls up Billy Care for bridging pin for the three. Finally, she beats them, it's a D. Match 19, tag match. Ugh, oh, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce the Iconics versus Liv Morgan and Ember Moon. This is a weird match. Ember Moon is isolated for ages without Liv even getting in the ring a single time. Liv eventually does get the tag and almost runs into the referee as she hits a bulldog. Peyton is almost beaten by the STO. Royce then drops Liv like a bad habit and they beat Liv with the knee to the noggin special. This doesn't make any sense. It feels like we're going backwards. It's an S. Match 20, number one contenders triple threat match. Ember Moon versus Liv Morgan versus Peyton Royce. Let's see what our girl can do in her biggest match so far. She starts with a roll up on Peyton, followed by a matrix move to dodge a kick and another roll up. The match spills out the ring where Ember Moon wipes out Liv. Back in the ring, Peyton hits rapid fire kicks on Liv. Peyton used that tarantula like move again. Ember Moon hasn't been in the ring most of this match. Liv gets a hoped spot with an almost head scissors for a one count. Big spin kick in the corner from Royce now. Liv dodges her next move and double stomps her. The Bulldog connects, but Ember Moon is finally in the ring. Liv head scissors her to clear her from the ring once again. Now Liv Morgan is set up on the top rope. Ember Moon returns for a sunset superplex. With the ref distracted, Billy J tries to stop the eclipse, but she takes it instead. Morgan launches Ember Moon out of the ring, but she turns around into a knee to the face, and Peyton Royce beats her with the fisherman suplex. It was fine, but maybe slightly disappointing that she didn't win. Not sure where she really goes from here. It's a C. Match 21, tag match, Liv Morgan and Aaliyah versus the Iconics, the feud that just keeps on giving. Billy does a hip toss and celebrates like a moron. Liv does a dodge and also celebrates like a moron. The rolling pin gets a two before Morgan rolls in the opposite way for another two. Morgan nails a snap mirror so her partner can dive with a leg drop. Aaliyah is dominated for ages and struggling with the cheating heel so Morgan drop kicks Billy off the ring apron and Aaliyah gets the roll up win. Short, forgettable and not impressive, it's an S. The comments team call it a massive upset. Pretty sure all of these people have been trading wins and losses for a month now. Match 22, women's number one contendership battle royal. Surely she has a chance here at this point she's one of the biggest stars in this match. Well nothing happens for ages before Liv runs and charges with a drop kick to eliminate her future partner Sarah Logan. She almost eliminates Peyton Royce too but she's saved by her bestie. Ember Moon then almost eliminates Liv but not yet. It always makes me laugh in these battle royals when everybody refuses to work together against established tag teams like the Iconics. They're dominating in there. Nikki Cross throws Liv over the top rope who clings on, but Cross pries her fingers when Liv is eliminated. Ah, uh, I thought she'd do a little bit better here. It's a D. Match 23, Liv Morgan versus Vanessa Boring. Wait, no, it doesn't say boring. It really looks like it does though. It's born. Liv looks around in confusion at the silent crowd. For some reason, Vanessa spanks Liv. That angers Liv and they trade pinfalls for a bit. Liv does a couple of Matrix moves and sweeps out Vanessa. Finally a new move now, the leg drop to the back, just a one though. Vanessa sends her into the turnbuckle. Nice snap suplex into the pin now but she can't get the job done. Nothing really happens until Liv drop toe holds Vanessa into the ropes. Liv does a forward roll for some reason and then she almost rolls Vanessa into a pin. Liv is suddenly fired up, the Inzaguri kick doesn't end the match. She hits a nice double stomp in the corner. 
the Bulldog, and another new move with the Code Breaker. That's the three. Nothing remarkable, not terrible, it's a D. Match 24, final match. Triple threat for the number one contendership. Peyton Royce. I guess we really haven't got a choice. And she takes on Liv Morgan. This music with the cartoon voices has given me a headache. Also in this match is Nikki Cross. Cross forcefully grabs Liv's hand and they clothesline Royce out of the ring. Liv takes Cross down with her head scissors. She can't land her springboard move though and Royce is back. Liv hits her with the enziguri. Cross is back and she roughly takes Morgan down. Cross is fighting her like a rabid dog. Royce returns again and Morgan is shoved into her. Liv Morgan and Royce catch her and double slam her. Now we get the tarantula. Interestingly, it's legal in this match, so we get to see it for longer than usual. Cross starts scratching at her belly and pulls her to the floor. Cross climbs to the top and she hits Liv with a missile dropkick. Cross is destroying Morgan in the corner. Morgan suddenly explodes of anger and she's quickly shut down again with a crossbody. She also hits Liv with a net breaker for a two. Then she stacks Liv up on the top rope, which leads to a tower spot with Liv getting the worst of that. Tay Conte randomly rushes the ring, but she can't do much. Cross puts Liv on the top rope and hits her with a net break, which should be over, but the pin is broken up again by Tay Conte. Peyton Royce beats Nikki Cross with a kick and a fisherman suplex. Man, these iconics were pushed hard. Game over, it's a C. A month after this, Liv Morgan would make her SmackDown debut along Ruby Riot and Sarah Morgan as the Riot Squad. They weren't as good as the Shove It Squad, though. All this left to do is shove Morgan a final grade for Ring of the Hawks Season 4. The thing with Liv Morgan though is although her wrestling wasn't the greatest I've ever seen, she does an excellent job marketing herself and making herself stand out. She looked pretty cool and memorable and that's what the little kiddies will love. She showed gradual improvement in the ring throughout this run too. It's not her fault that most of these matches were against the Iconics. She's gone on to have a pretty amazing career but we don't grade with hindsight in mind. We need to look at this from a 2017 perspective. Now looking at who we currently have in the C tier, I can't really say anything we've seen is as good as those wrestlers. So the best thing to do is shove her a D for developing, and if you don't agree with that, leave her alone, she's mellowing. 